Okay, let's check out this guy here. Whoa. Oh, nice. Whoa. Hold on. Is this? Yeah, that's a cut. Sorry, I was a bit confused about this one because of the cut. Because because of that fast move, it almost looks like he's advancing really fast. He's kind of in the same space. She's kind of in the same space. It just kind of felt like a quick pop into something new. Um, so maybe just pushing the change of position between characters. Not that you want to completely confuse the audience, but um, it will also help to have other structures in terms of geography to know where we are. That's the only thing that in this viewing is first time seeing this felt a bit jarring. And the same thing with this where it's pretty much the same space, kind of the head just pops in a different spot. So it's like, hmm, did she just disappear? It's a bit of a weird cut where, you know, it would work if you bring it just closer and it's just all about the roar, for instance. That's cool, I like all that. This, I almost wish it was Imagine we were zoomed out. So, hold on. So, imagine it was kind of like that, right? He does the whole, but, uh, let's switch here. But he would be, <clears throat> could be here, and you have all the, the pieces down, and, you know, pieces here, whatever. <laughs> Your set's going to look like, actually, it's probably the set we've broken here. But, you know, maybe this is too much, but this could be your framing where you can see the rest of it, pieces falling down. It's kind of a full on silhouette of the body and everything um, versus versus going up with the camera. Oops. That makes sense. So something that could be cool seeing all of this here. Translate. So to me, it's almost like you want to be maybe around this position. Like it feels like characters here, she's here, set, and the camera travels in terms of translates from here to here. And I wonder if you keep it here, and all you do is just rotate and pan with the character, but you're overly, you're, you're globally further away to frame the whole thing. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe it's also again because we're just seeing nothing. If you have the rest of the set or clouds or something to understand what's going on, then that could be different. It's just always a bit weird when you see nothing in the sky. Some of these shots like here. So maybe if you put a, a skybox or you know a sphere for your sky dome or something, that might be better. Understand. Let's just understand a couple of things. This is cool. I like all this. I like that. I don't think it changes the pace. It's great. That's cool. Yeah, that's just some... Just the cuts could be a bit clearer. But yeah, it's cool. I really like it. There's just some changes, as I mentioned, in terms of camera angles potentially. But again, uh, clouds or whatever you want to put in there might work already. So I would say just send it again just with that. And then I can give you my quick two cents. And potentially we still have to maybe change some camera angles. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.